to be that nobody outside the worlds of stuffy academics and nerdy Zen studies knew who Dogen was. And while this 13th century Japanese Zen master and writer is still not one of the best known philosophers on the planet, he's well known enough to have a character on the popular American TV series Lost named after him and to get referenced regularly in books and discussions of the world's most important philosophical thinkers. Oh, hi there. Now, this is my new book, Don't Be a Jerk, and other practical advice from Dogen, Japan's greatest Zen master. I wrote the book as a way to try to convey the essence of a, an 800-year-old Japanese Buddhist classic called Shobogenzo, Treasury of the True Dharma Eye. Uh, the cover is by a Canadian artist named Johnny Crapp, who has illustrated the covers for a few of my other books. And uh, I, I came up with the concept, the monster is supposed to be representing me, and uh, he's shooting these rays out to destroy this beautiful old temple, the same way that I'm kind of destroying Dogen's beautiful old book. Um, let me read you something from the back that I think kind of sums up the essence of, uh, of the book. Even if the whole universe is nothing but a bunch of jerks doing all kinds of jerk-type things, there is still liberation in simply not being a jerk. Uh, Shobogenzo is a real old book. Uh, that uh, was written by a guy named Dogen, who was a Japanese monk who left Japan, went to China to try to find a more pure form of Buddhism that wasn't available in Japan in his time. Uh, it's been around for 800 years, but it's only been in the last 100 years that it's really been studied. It was kind of lost uh, for a long time. It wasn't lost. People knew where to find it. They just didn't go there. Uh, it wasn't widely read until the early 20th century when it, when it experienced a resurgence in Japan. And now there's several English translations available, so I thought the time was right to kind of put a, a more modern spin on the thing. I decided that the time was right to paraphrase Dogen's Shobogenzo now because there are several good English translations available. So anybody who wants to uh, can find one of these translations. A couple of them are available for free online even. And so I thought that this is a good time to present a, a different version of Shobo Genzo that doesn't need to be quite so precisely true to the original, where I'm going to try to give the audience what I have learned from 30 years of living with Shobo Genzo. Uh, Don't Be a Jerk, the title came out of working with this chapter in Shobogenzo called Shoakumakusa, which means don't enact wrong. And my idea for the book was to try to come up with original, contemporary sounding ways of saying the same things that Dogen said. So, don't be a jerk is the way uh, an American in the 21st century would say the same thing. And, and, I, and, I, and he says that don't be a jerk is the main message of Buddhism. And he, he frames a kind of dialogue with somebody who says, well, that's stupid. Any three-year-old child could tell you don't be a jerk. And he says, yeah, a three-year-old child could say it, but even an old man has trouble doing it. So it's, it's a kind of, it's, it's a very basic idea, but something that we all have trouble with. So that's why don't be a jerk. Well, the reason I titled one of my chapters, Note to Self, There Is No Self, is because this is one of the hardest lessons for people to get out of Buddhism. Because one of the most fundamental aspects of Buddhist philosophy is this idea that there is no self. And when you first hear that, you're likely to think, like I did, that it's just total nonsense. How can you say there's no self? The only thing I know is that I am here and I am myself, right? Um, but what the Buddhists are saying is not that those aspects you 
refer to as parts of yourself don't exist. They do. You have a personality, you have a personal history, you have your own credit cards, and I'm not supposed to use your credit cards, and so on and so forth. But those, when you take those things and combine them into a concept called self, and then try to manipulate that concept around and say, well, what happens to the self after I die? Or what happens to the self if it meets an unpleasant person? Or what, you know, any number of questions you ask yourself. Um, those are the wrong questions because you're starting from a fundamentally wrong premise, which is that the self actually exists. The self is just a concept. And this is one of the hardest things for, for us as Westerners, and, and honestly, the hardest thing for Asian practitioners of Buddhism, too, to get a hold on. Because it's, it's so subtle and it's so very different from the way we normally think of things. I think it's possible that people will read Don't Be a Jerk and learn how not to be a jerk. But it's not that the book is written as a kind of prescriptive thing that's going to give you lessons in how not to be a jerk. It's not a self-help book in that way. But what Dogen said is we all have the intuitive ability to know right from wrong in any situation which itself is kind of a radical thing to say because we really feel that you know, certain people don't know. Uh, but the only reason we don't know how to act correctly is because we try too hard to, to think things through. And in your mind and in the realm of thought, you can justify anything. This is how Nazism happens. This is how people blow up airplanes and things like that because you can justify it in your head. But in your, in your, in your more basic intuitive sense, you know those things are wrong. And what Dogen is urging us to do is to learn how to respond to our intuitive sense of right and wrong. What do you hope people take away from the book? Don't <clears throat> well, whenever I write a book, the main thing I hope people will take from it is that they'll just enjoy reading it. Uh, I don't really aim much higher than that. Although I did write this book because I wanted to understand Dogen more deeply. So I got out my piles of Dogen translations and the original Japanese version and versions in contemporary Japanese and kind of sat it out all on my kitchen table and with my laptop sitting there trying to go word by word and phrase by phrase through Shobo Genzo and, and, and distill what I thought were the most important points out of each phrase that Dogen used. Um, and maybe that'll be useful. Maybe all that work and, and sweat I put into that will come through and people will uh, get something out of it. <laughs>